Let's, uh, let's lighten the mood a little bit. Let's talk about terrorism. Terrorism... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, one of my main issues with terrorism is simple, all right? It's got people that have known me my entire life doubting my credibility, all right? It's, just, it's mad thing. And I want to let you know, all right, you guys are a little bit worried at the moment. I, I'll, I'll make it explicit for you. I am not a member of ISIS, all right? <laughs> I have nothing to do with those people. I don't follow their ideology. That's because I've got six months left on my Al Qaeda membership. I'm like, I'm a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Where did they go? <laughs> my gosh. I'm going to get some water, all right? Flip me, mate. It was a bad choice wearing this heavy ass jacket, you know what I mean? <laughs> and you know what, actually? Ooh, it's squirting all over the place. I tell you what, yeah, I tell you what is the biggest threat to Muslims on the face of the planet today, all right? Dehydration. We cannot carry around clear liquids in a bottle anywhere, all right? <laughs> exactly. Dying up here on this stage, dying in airplanes, stressing me out. But the thing about, listen, hey, can I pop this here? Bro, can you have that? Thank you, my G. One of the worst things about terrorism is how it's got people doubting my credibility, people I've known my whole life, all right? I want to give you an example. I've got a neighbor, okay, she's called Maud. She's known me for 27 years. And because of the media narrative, the way that the media portrays Muslims, minorities, Black Lives Matter, the world is very divisive. Who in this room just wants to live and get along? Make some noise. <laughs> exactly, we all want to, all right? But the media has got people doubting me, all right? So I've had my neighbor 27 years. We've got a, it's a, it's a nice simple thing. It's a neighborly thing to do, all right? A regular Friday wheelie bin ritual. We grab the wheelie bin, Drag it down to the end of the driveway, have a quick natter, go back in. It's what neighbours do, innit? It's what neighbours do, all right? This particular Friday, Maud is like clockwork, but she was late. And I'm thinking, Ra, is Maud okay? I hope she's all right. Usually she's like, the bin was stinking as shit, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to be a good neighbour and have this conversation. Boom. Three minutes later, boom! She kicks open the door, she's stressed, she's flustered. I said, Maud, is, is everything okay? She says, now! Now, good. everything is far from all right. <laughs> Have you seen the news? I'm like, listen, Maud, a lot of my cousins are on there. I don't watch that shit. You know that. Right? <laughs> Bring back a lot of bad memories for me, Maud. She says, good. it's the ISIS. I Z I. She's from Birmingham. That's how she spells it. It's the ISIS. <laughs> They've been doing terrible, bloody terrorisms again, them lot. I was like, yo, Maud, listen, that's bad. I don't agree with those people, and you know, I hope they're brought to justice. She says, you say that, Guzzi, yeah? But you gotta tell me something, babes. You're nothing like them, are you? I said, what? <laughs> Mo, you know me, 27 years, baby. I'm nothing like them. Stop buying into the media narrative. Stop buying into the news. I'm me, Guz, your neighbor. She says, no, no, I know you say that. It's just from very specific angles. <laughs> this is a very Bin Laden look you've got going on there. I said, hey! Guy. Very racist. She says, Good, I know, I'm just being silly, I'm just being silly. But you just do me one more favour, though, babes, okay? It's just more for my rod, really, yeah? If you hear anything about it before the news does, just let me know. 